In this short presentation, I first want to address the question, what is competition policy? And here I would say that competition policy is a government policy. It's the policy that governments use to establish and to ensure healthy competition in markets. And in most cases, this policy is embodied in specific legislation that deals with anti-competitive practices of enterprises or business firms. And the main examples of these practices are, for example, cartels, anti-competitive mergers, abuses of a dominant position, and vertical market restraints. Competition policy also is sometimes referred to as antitrust policy. Uh, it may be known as anti-monopoly policy. In some countries it's called fair trade policy or fair competition policy. All of these are alternative terms for um, essentially the same kind of policy and legislation. I would like to emphasize that competition policy, it doesn't need to be to be seen as being limited only to the enforcement of competition law. Competition policy also includes, for example, what we call competition advocacy. This is when competition agencies, or indeed other interested parties, do research and uh, make presentations, for example, uh, may appear before parliamentary committees or commissions of inquiry uh, to make the case for changes in government policy and practices or in business practices that will enhance competition and ensure better results for consumers in markets. This is also an important part of competition policy in my view. And even more generally, we can say that uh, competition policy includes other measures that governments may take to open markets, um, to, to facilitate entry by new entrepreneurs, um, pre pre even previously excluded um, groups within a national economy. All of these things can also be seen as elements of competition policy. Uh, ju and just to conclude this point on really what is competition policy, I would like to emphasize that competition policy is not the same as laissez-faire. Laissez-faire, as people will understand, is basically the idea that anything goes, that if governments simply let businesses do what they want to do, that all will work out for the best, this will create a high state of competition and innovation and so forth. This is actually not what competition policy thinkers believe. We believe, competition policy thinkers and competition agencies worldwide, um, recognize that market forces by themselves do not always yield the optimal results. And indeed, we see competition institutions and laws and related government policies as being important to ensure that markets function efficiently and in the interests of citizens. So competition policy, it's not a particularly intrusive form of regulation, but it does begin with the perception that we need to intervene sometimes to ensure to correct market failures, that's really what it is in economic terminology, and to ensure that markets yield good results for citizens.